Step 1. Signing up. First, create a personal account in the Golova.ai system. To do this, provide your email and desired password. Follow the link in the confirmation email. Now you have a personal account, you can create a company in it. A domain is the address that you and your employees will use to access the system in the future. We recommend uploading demo data for an easier start to work. Don't forget to accept the terms of the user agreement. Step 2. Logging into the system. Enter your company's domain in the browser's address bar. Enter the login and password of the administrator that you set in your personal account. Now you are inside the system and can start working. Step 3. Catalog filling. If you checked the Upload Demo Data checkbox, you will see sections and items created for example in the catalog. Let's create an item in the section Lighting Equipment. First, let's create a subsection. Now let's add equipment to it. Specify the price, estimated value, units of measurement, write a comment and fill in the main parameters of the device. Now specify the quantity of this equipment that you have in stock. Let's say you have 10 of these devices. The system will generate 10 items and assign each its own stock keeping unit number. Step 4. Database filling. Now it's time to fill in your databases. You can easily add to the system your employees' staff, your clients, venues where you work, your transportation, legal entities you interact with, your own legal entities. Step 5. Project creation and operation. Provide general information about the project. In the Estimate tab, you can quickly add equipment and services to the list, from which you can later generate a commercial offer. Items in the estimate can be added individually or in sets. Let's add the position created earlier. The system knows the quantity we specified in the catalogue and suggests the current balance. Your estimate can be divided into tabs. Tabs can be copied and modified. Estimates have different statuses. You can reserve equipment for your project. The system will show shortages and intersections with other projects. From the Estimate tab, you can easily download commercial offer in the PDF or Excel format. In the specification, you create a shipping list. Here you can deal with missing items. For example, you can take them on sublease. You can also add additional accessories to some items. Any changes you make here are not reflected in the estimate and commercial offer that you send to the client. Let's add two cables, for example, to one of our acoustic systems. The shipping list can also be exported in Excel and PDF formats. You can also confirm the specification and proceed to the warehouse mode. On the warehouse page, you see various warehouse statuses and the list of equipment that you prepared in the previous step. 
Here, you specify which equipment will go to the project, assigning stock keeping unit numbers. The warehouse has two display modes, Kanban and Table. They work simultaneously. Additionally, you can generate documentation within the project, such as contracts and invoices. Files can be downloaded in PDF and Word formats. The system will fill in the necessary values from the project, including your details and those of your counterparty.